Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. So, for today's video, we are going to discuss the food security and food insecurity and what it causes it. So, for your information, this will be my project video from my environmental science class. So, please support and like this video. Hi guys! So, we are going to talk about what is food security first. So, as I research, food security is the measure of individual's ability to access food that is nutritious and sufficient in quality. Some definition of food security is specified that food must be also meet as individual's food preference and dietary needs for activity and healthy lifestyle. And based on my understanding, um, food security exists when all people at all time have access to healthy, safe, and nutritious food that they can eat. No hunger, no poverty. So now, let's talk about food insecurity. Food insecurity is the state without reliable access to sufficient quality of nutritious food. The long-standing hunger, malnutrition, which weaken the people. So, in short, ang food insecurity ay ang kakulangan sa pagkain ng isang lugar o bansa. So, let's move on to the causes of food insecurity. First is poverty. People who categorize below the minimum wage of their various country cannot sustain the financial requirements of the rapid development of the world. The second is war. Combat can cause food shortage and the disruption of economic activities. Additionally, war triggered the displacement of large number of people, cutting them off from their food supply and livelihood. The third is natural calamities, like Super Typhoon Rally, that 8,000 sacks of rice discovered turned to waste by the Super Typhoon. Thousands of residents may have benefited from the sacks of rice stored at the warehouse, but it's useless now. Fourth is climate change. Change in temperature, scarcity in water, drought, flood, and an increase of CO2 concentration impact the production of stapled crops all over the world. The fifth and last is corruption and political upheaval. It's also one of the causes of food insecurity that having poor governments and bad leaders. So now let's talk about the lack of food, lack of nutritious food, and the overeating food. So now let's talk about the lack of food. To be truly healthy, we need to consume food that contain large amounts of micronutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. While micronutrients like vitamin A, B, C, and E, and minerals including iron, iodine, and calcium are also needed to be absorbed in smaller amounts. However, people who do not have money to buy food or cannot plan food on their own can suffer from undernutrition or hunger. Being hungry means more than just missing a meal. It's a debilitating crisis that has more than 20 million people in its grip, with millions more under its treat due to COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 is estimated to have dramatically increased the number of people facing acute food insecurity in 2020-2021. Let's talk about now the lack of nutritious food. Iron is an ingredient of the hemoglobin in our blood used to transport oxygen. 
lack of iron might introduce anemia, fatigue, and infection. And according to WHO or World Health Organization, at least 250,000 children younger than age 6, most of them in less developed country, go blind every year from a lack of vitamin A. So lastly, let's talk about overrating of food. Lack of food is unhealthy as well as consuming too many food. Overrating may cause too much food energy that will later become excess body fat. That is called overnutrition. That occurs when you have too many calories, too little exercise, or both. According to research, the United States suffer from overweighting and obesity epidemic. So today, we learned the difference between food security and food insecurity. We also learned the causes of food insecurity, the poverty, war, natural calamity, climate change, corrupt, and lastly is um, political upheaval. We also learned the effect of lack of food to people without money. We also learned the effect of having lack of nutritious food like food with iron and iodine. And last, we also learned the overrating of food, the effect of diet deficiency in vitamin A, iron, and iodine. We can all make small changes in our life and those small efforts are combined. This could create an impact on maintaining food security. This video, it will help us to open our minds and heart about our foods. So that's all. Thank you.